Hey everyone, I'm Patrick Howell and today I'm going to show you how to make a dress form. So at this point you have your duct tape fitting and it's all marked with your with your basic pattern lines. You've leveled up the knee, you've drawn uh, very clear armhole lines and neck, and uh, for this step you're just going to need some paper, some rulers, pencil, eraser, and scissors. Uh, it helps to have a nice marker and some tape maybe, and uh, let's get started. Alright, the first thing you want to do is start to trim the outer edge of your duct tape fitting. I'm going to start at the knee and follow my level line. I'm going to trim up the armholes so they're nice and smooth. Okay, and last I'm going to trim up the neck and I'm actually uh, trying to get some detail so that I have a, a neck on the dress form so I've taped up just a little higher on the neck. Alright, so next we're going to find the center front line and we're going to cut it in half. And in a perfect world, the center front line would be exactly center, but it's difficult to, uh, to get that to happen. So I'm going to measure it when I'm done cutting and I'm going to choose the side that is just a little smaller because it's easier to pad your dress form than it is to make it smaller. Okay, and I'm just going to measure the waistline.
This side measures 22 and an eighth. And this side measures 21 inches, so I'm going to use the smaller side. So we'll get rid of this. Alright, so our next step is to see if we can figure out if the underarm seam and the shoulder seam are about even, about even distance, like half and half. And I'm just going to move that line, I'm just going to move the line on the shoulder to kind of even it up a little bit. We're going to cut the shoulder. Okay, now we're going to look at the side seam. Actually, I'm going to take my ruler and measure and see where we're at. So, like 10 and a quarter. Ten and a quarter right there, and from that point back up to the front shoulder is nine and a half. So I can move it back over a little bit farther. Now it's nine and three quarters and almost the same. So now I'm just gonna Square that line up down the side. Okay. All right, so now we're going to cut the side seam. You want to try to cut your lines as straight as you can, as, you know, just as without a lot of jagged cuts. And in a minute, we're going to clean them up when we put them on paper. Okay, so now we have the front and the back halves. Okay. Now from here, you can kind of decide where you want your lines. You can turn them into a princess line pattern by taking it to the armhole, or you can take it to the shoulder, and that's what I've done. So now I'm gonna kind of smooth things out and cut them in quarters. right down the center of the bust with this next cut from the shoulder. So at this point, we've got everything into four parts, and we need to break it down farther, further, whichever it is, so that everything lies as flat as possible. So let's start with the easy part first, which would be the back. Okay. 
All right, so if you look at these pieces, there's a big hump right here in the hip, the back hip. This is the side, and this is the center back. So we want to, oops. I'm gonna cut along the waistline, and I'll show you why. Okay, so now I'm just gonna mark these pieces. This is the side back. And this is the side back. This is the center back. Okay, now that I have this broken at the waist, you can almost see that this is going to be a curve, just a slight curve, and usually this is the same exact curve at the waist to the hip. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to make this piece lay flat by cutting a dart into it from the waist down into the hip. Almost. Just a little bit more. Okay, we're about there, I think. Okay, so I don't think it'll get much flatter than that. And the back piece isn't so bad. The center back piece isn't so bad. We could probably just cut. You can cut a dart in from one side or the other. Maybe... Or maybe not. Maybe it's just... That's almost flat enough. Alright, we'll go with that. That's flat enough. And this piece is pretty flat. Okay, so let's just start tracing these pieces. I also have some push pins to hold it down on my table so that it doesn't move while I'm trying to trace it. We're going to mark, we're going to make marks where the waistline is. Um, if you did what I did, you drew some lines to indicate where a corset might hit. I'm going to transfer those lines as well. Um, I also have a tracing wheel <laughs> for this. So you can just trace right through your duct tape. You want to do this kind of lightly so you don't... because we're going to clean it all up. But I gotta do this neck. Okay, so in this case, for the neck, it's standing up off the, off the table. So if I were to clip it here, it's, the pieces are going to overlap. And that's not what you want. You want it to lay down flat. So I'm going to cut it off. I'm also going to make sure I know where it goes back on. So I'm going to put a couple of cross marks to indicate that. So now I'm going to cut it off nice and easy, nice and clean. Oops. Okay, so now I have a separate piece. I have a separate piece for the neck. And now this lays flat. So. Don't forget to transfer your cross marks so you can match things back up. Okay, so now we have the center back, and right now 
Uh, your lines are going to look a little rough, but you're going to take a ruler and I'm going to show you in a minute just how to clean them up a little. Alright, we've got this little piece for the neck. I'm going to make that a separate piece. I'm going to trace that out. Don't forget your cross marks. Okay, now let's do this side back. So now that we have the back down on paper, I'm going to go through and clean up some lines and measure and make sure that things are going to match up. So we know where our waistline is, so we're going to make that our, our guide point. So I'm going to measure the center back from the knee to the waist along this line. I have roughly 21 and 3 quarters. So now I'm going to measure the line that it joins to. And I have 21 and a half. So here's the point where you need to make a decision. And that's whether to make one line longer or the other line shorter. <laughs> but let's measure from the waist up and see if there's a difference there. So 21.5. So there's a quarter inch difference. So now we'll measure the center back up to the shoulder. It's 18 and 1 eighth. And the side back that joins to this is 18 and a half. Okay, so now we just need to shift something a little bit because, let's see, let's do some math. Let's see if they add up to the same thing. So your side back has 21.5 plus 18.5, which equals 40 overall. And the center back has 21.75 plus 18 and an eighth, which equals 39.875. So yeah, it's almost exactly the same. But I need to move the waist, the waistline, 
just a little bit. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna take from the side back. I'm gonna lose a quarter inch. off the bottom of the side back. And I'm going to add a quarter inch you know what I'm not going to do that I take it back really what I should do is move the center back waistline. So I'm going to move the center back waistline down a quarter inch and now it's going to match the side waistline. So now it's at 21 and a half, and your side back from the knee to the waist is 21 and a half. So now your pieces are about perfect. Alright, let's measure the side seam from the waist up to the armhole. 7 and 7 eighths. And let's measure the side back from the knee to the waist, so 21 and 7 eighths, and now let's make sure that when the dart is closed, the legs are the same, so it's about 10 and also about 10. And let's measure the waist, where the top side matches to the hip on the side, 4.75, and let's see if this adds up. It's actually a 5. So we need to take a little out of the bottom, so let's take it out of the dart. Let's just shave the dart down at the top. Alright, measure again. Just right. Alright, now we're going to do the front pieces. We're going to do the front pieces now, and they are a little more difficult. Alright, so it's a good idea to label all your pieces, which I've done, so that you don't lose track of where everything goes. And I missed a piece, so let's go... Center back, neck. And you've got cross marks so that it matches up. Okay, on to the front. The front is a lot more tricky than the back. But the idea here is that we're going to maintain as much shape as possible. This won't be necessary later on when you're making patterns. Um, because you're not making an exact duplicate of the body. But for now, we want to try to maintain as much shape as possible. So we're going to have a lot of interesting curves and darts. Okay, so center front, from the waist down, is really flat. So we're fine with that. So I drew a line under the bust, and that's where I'm going to cut. I'm going to change the angle a little bit. Because later on when you assemble, it'll be easier. So let's just start 
under the bust and cut this apart. Okay, this is the center front, and that's pretty flat. I'm happy with that. Okay, but we still have a very shaped bust, and I need to take care of this neck up top, so I'm going to cut this away. Now I'm going to cut right through the center bust from to the center front. Okay, and we still have a little that we need to get rid of. So I'm going to make a dart. Okay, so I think this is flat enough. I mean, you could keep going and you could um, really go into detail on the, on the shape, but you just don't really need to, in my opinion. So now we have the, the center front and the pieces are laid out flat. You may want to add some cross marks again so you know where they match when you go to assemble. All right, I'm going to set these aside for just a minute, and we're going to do the side front. Now, on this piece, again, it looks like there's a lot of shape still on the hip, and the bust. So I'm going to start under the bust and cut around to the side just like a bra cup line would be just about. Okay, now I've separated that out. And we still have a lot of shape here. So I'm going to cut, I think, from the center bust out to the side. And then one more time, lower Let's see where this matches. Alright, since I cut directly across the center bust here, and I put a dart in the center front bust, I'm going to match this up and mark where I'm going to make my next dart, where I'm going to start it. So that matches up too. Now I'm just going to cut a dart right into there. Okay, so now that lays flat, and this will all match up. Okay. Alright, down to the lower half. And in this case, I'm going to cut across the waistline on the side front. And that'll correspond to the waist in the side back. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing as I did to the back to this front hip area. I'm going to draw a tentative line. Maybe I'll just do it. I don't. Maybe I don't want it to be dead center because then it gets confusing. All right, so I just want to cut it down as far as it takes to make it lay flat.
Okay, so now I have all my pieces, all the lines are smoothed out, and now I'm gonna mark all of my pieces so I know what they are, and I'm going to measure all the connecting seams to make sure that they match up pretty well. So in this, uh, in this stage, we've cut apart our duct tape fitting and we've tried to get it as flat as possible and not sacrifice. Uh, we've just tried to get it to lay flat so that we don't sacrifice shape. We've traced each piece out carefully, adding cross marks so we know how they go back together. We've labeled all of our pieces and uh, smoothed out all of our lines. We've measured all of our lines to make sure that they're true to each other. And uh, now we're going to cut all the pieces out. And we'll be ready for our next step. Okay, for this step I like to use a thick ruler and a rotary blade. Please use a thick ruler with your rotary blade. If not, you may run off the edge of your ruler and cut your fingertips off. Okay, so we've cut out all of our pieces, and this is what it looks like. Your dress form pieces may take on slightly different shapes depending on where you cut your darts. There's no rules. You could cut darts in from the sides of the hip. The idea is that you get your pieces to lay flat so that when you put them back together, they create a three-dimensional shape that matches the shape of your model. And I like my seam lines to be roughly where they would be if you were making a dress. So this is not exactly that, but it helps me get the shape of the dress form. 